Hi, I'm Chini. I'm a second year medical student and today we're going to talk about my favorite productivity tool, Notion. So I've been using Notion since I started medical school and I use it on a daily basis. It has helped me tremendously in my schedule and keeping track of my tasks, keeping track of my budget, and just basically organizing my life. So a lot of people say that Notion is overwhelming and hard to maintain, hard to figure out. And at first, that's how I felt. But today, I'm gonna keep it simple and easy. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, I'll have a link in the description box. Okay, so first, what is Notion? So Notion is a productivity tool that can be used individually or you can use it in collaboration with others. You can manage tasks, track habits, set goals, take notes, and so much more. So what actually makes Notion different from others? It's very customizable. You can edit so much features to your style or to fit your group's needs. You can make it as simple as you want or as complex as you want. So Notion is basically your all-in-one workspace. So let's start with where you can find templates and the templates I actually use. Okay, so let's start here. So this is my home page. On the left, there's a sidebar. You can hide this if you want. So here, you can see all the settings, and I have different pages here as well. Then you can press this to see other templates. I use the personal templates, but there's so much more you can choose from. There's the sign ones. I'll click some so you could see and have an idea. There. Education. With different elements. You can just use this template immediately. Just click use this template. Then it'll be in your own Notion. Then you can edit it as you like. There's even weekly agendas. If you want to put your goals in here, then you can move this over here. Here, this is like my homepage. So when you click this, this notebook, it'll lead you to another page. So if I click notebook, it leads to another page there. And then if I click this, it'll lead to another page. And then I can just go back here. And then within this home page, there's also a to-do list. So there's really so much you can do with Notion. And you don't have to start from scratch. You can just use these templates so you don't have a hard time. You can even search on Google for different templates if you want an aesthetic one, if you want a certain theme. There's so much people sharing their templates on the internet. <laughs> you can even share your own template. All you have to do is go to the top right, click share, share the web and then allow duplicate as template. This is what I usually do when I share my templates with my batchmates in medical school. Then you just copy link and share it to your friends. So what are the templates I actually use? So I'll show you one by one the templates I use. So most of the people on YouTube that use Notion, they use a homepage for all their pages. Everything is in their homepage. And then if they want to go to their to-do list, they click on their homepage. But for me, I prefer the sidebar. I just find it easier and simpler, but I also have a homepage just in case I decide in the future that I prefer the homepage. I'll talk about this in the end of the video because this is more complex. I think the homepage is the most confusing. I'll start with a weekly plan. I will do a brief overview of my templates and then in the next part, I'll go into detail about each element in the template. I just have a basic weekly to-do list. Next is a subject to-do list which is basically just my weekly to-do list but with more blocks here because I have a lot of subjects for second year and then I added this calendar which I'll talk about later. Here I have my YouTube board which is basically my videos. So people use this also for their to-do list but I prefer a checklist for my to-do list. Here I have another to-do list. All my lessons in first year medical school. There's no checks here because this is the template I sent to my friends. And here I have a deadlines page which I just add all my different deadlines for med school. So here you can see I put a lot there. And then I'm gonna talk about this also later. I also use this for my budget video, if you watch that. Here I put my year two materials. Okay, let's go into detail. So first you can see that there's a picture on the top. This is a cover. You can change the cover. You can just pick the ones they already have or you can go to Unsplash and type a random word. Let's go with medicine. Then you can just add this if you want. Let's go with this because it's orange. There, and then you can also reposition it if you prefer a different angle. Here, you can always change the emoji if you want. 
I put the brain. Here I have to do. This is where I put random tasks that I have to do. So here workout. So if I know when I'm gonna work out, I just drag it to Tuesday. You could also add a background color if you want. So color there. Easy, but I prefer no color for this one. Yeah, upcoming next week. So I just add upcoming tasks that I need to do for the next week. And then when it's the current week already, I just move it like this here. Or if I already know the date, I just move it like that. And then here you can see trash. This is basically just a random page that I made. So if you click it, it goes to a page. But what this is for is if I'm done with this, I click done. And then if the week is done or if I don't want to see it anymore, I just move it to trash. Just for the convenience so I don't have to delete it. And then you can also change the color. Here you can see that I made dishes and table blue because I'm never going to change that because every Wednesday I'm dishes and table. When the week is done, I just unclick it. So this is a template button. This add a new to-do. So what you do to add that is template. Template button. So you can customize it as well. So you can call it whatever you want. So it could be um, add task. So instead of saying add a new to do, it's gonna say add task. For subject to do list, what I did here was I duplicated my weekly plan. So what you do is you click the three dots and then click duplicate. And then as you can see in my subject to do list, there's a lot of rows. So how you do that is you just select all of this and then move it here or if you want it on the right, you move it there. And then again, if you want another column, there you move it. It's basically the same as my weekly to-do list. But here you could see a calendar. So how to add this calendar? I think this is called a widget. So for my widgets, I usually get them on Google. I just search Notion widget and then I just browse through this is a link so you click here original so if you're getting it from a another person's template you just click on the widget like I did and you click original and then you just copy the link I'll put all my widget links in the description box so it's easy for you guys and then after copying the link you just click the click the addition sign you just type slash and then embed and then you just paste the link, then it'll show up. There! Okay, so here, so this is my YouTube board. So here you could see I have to film, to edit, waiting for approval, and posted. So I'm currently filming Notion, but I'm gonna edit it later so I can move it there. And then I'm still editing this preparing for second year. So here you could also see a no status. So this is like a trash as well. So I can select all of this and put it in trash if I don't want to see it anymore. Then you can see everything there. And for my final template, it's basically just my to-do list. They're very simple. So here is another widget. So same thing, original. When you click original, you'll see a link. I'll put the link in the description box. All you have to do is click the addition sign slash embed, paste the link, and there. The first column is task. So I just basically write whatever is due. So here you have orientation one that's already done actually. So I'll click done. And then you can see that it moved. This is because I sorted it. So I sorted it by due date and by done. So if I move due date on top of done, that's gonna be the priority, but I want the done to be the priority so you can see that it's in the bottom here and this is done as well here I have the due date so you can actually change what type of thing you want to input in each column so here I just have a date that I want to put so I put for the property date but you can have different properties like text number multiple select which I'll show you later so here this one is a checkbox for the done column and here is a multiple select so what multiple select is is instead of typing everything one by one you can just easily pick what you want to input so here i have simple task evals complex tasks med synchronous and finals and here i added another column just in case i wanted to add notes so this is a text column i can drop this down and click calendar view if i wanted to see it in a calendar monthly view so i just click calendar view 
then I can see all my tasks in a calendar monthly view which is very convenient so you just click it here and then you can click add view they have different types of viewing options so there's gallery which looks like this list calendar timeline board and table Okay, here we have my budget template. Here you can see my year 2 materials. First column, you see the name of the material I bought. Yeah, this is a template you can see here. Let's look for it. Here, simple budget. There. This is the, the template I used. I just removed the top part. So what you do is you just click use this template and then you will have it in your Notion. The next column is amount. You just input the amount and then in the bottom, it will automatically add the amount 550. Then it adds. Here I have a multi-select column. So here you can pick Shopee or medshop.com.ph because those are the shops I shopped from. <laughs> Here, I added another notes column just in case I wanted to add extra details. Here, this is kind of complicated. This is my home page. So here, this is basically like uh, where I can find everything. But as I said, I prefer this left um, sidebar. But we can close that for now. Okay, so here, it's the same thing. You just click add and then dash embed. And then click the link. There. You can make it as small as you want, as big as you want. By the way, you can add so much more elements or blocks. Here, when you click the add, you could see a lot of options. There. So what I did here was I just clicked add and then I added a I added a call out. So you can add a code. This is the code template, which is just a line on the left. But I prefer this one. So for this one, this is a call out. So there's gonna be a background. So what I did was, this is usually a light bulb, but I changed the emoji to a paperclip. Ooh, also, I forgot to mention, you can change the font of your whole page. So you just click the three dots on the upper right, and then you can click from three fonts there so I prefer this one for this page and then you can make it small text or big text I prefer the bigger text and then you can make it full width or narrow I prefer full width there here you could see I have an image so this is basically just adding an image so you can look for image here so you can either scroll like this or you can click or you can type slash and type whatever you want to add to it. Um, slash image. So you click image. You can choose an image from your computer, laptop, whatever. Or you can pick from Unsplash. Which has a lot of images. So you can just add this random picture. And it'll pop up. So you can see I have a lot of elements here. I have school, work, free time, and this Spotify playlist. You go to Spotify. So you click the three dots on Spotify, share, embed list. Then you just copy. Slash embed. Then you paste the link and then it'll pop out. Here, we have different links to different pages. So they're basically hyperlinks. So if I press this weekly plan, which I showed you a while ago, it redirects me to the weekly plan. And then if you click this back link, it goes back to my home page. So this one, this movie, doesn't have an arrow. So this was already in the template when I downloaded it. But these, I already had it, so that's why they have arrows. And then I just added a hyperlink or a... What do you call this? So what you do is slash and then you look for mention a page. Okay, so there you'll see different pages that you can link. So I can link... Um, YouTube if I want here there but here this one's kind of different this is the movie and TV show list so this one I share this page with Nika so you can share a page with other people and you can see them edit in real time so you just share and you can see here that Nika D is a guest how you do that is you just invite them so so here you can put can edit 
can comment, can view. So here you could see I have this thing that you haven't seen before. So what this is is it so this is called a breadcrumb. So here you can see breadcrumb or you can just type it if you want slash breadcrumb. So what this is is it shows you where you are in a current page. So in Chini's homepage, I'm in movie TV show playlist. But I added it because you can easily just go back to Chini's homepage. You click it and go back to Chini's homepage. Okay, so here you can see I have different movies. I have one to watch, currently watching, and watched. Watching The House Arrest of Us. I'm gonna move it here. If I'm done watching it, I check it and then move it to watched. But what's different here is I made these links, all of these. So if I click Good Doctor, it's gonna redirect me to Netflix, The Good Doctor. So how you do that is type something, so link. And then you select all, you just click this link. And then you can add uh, random links. You can also change the color of the font. I changed it to brown. And then I also made it bold. You can just do Command B or Control B to make it bold. So that's how I use my Notion. I like it because everything is in one place. I can not only work individually, but I can work with other people. Like how what I do with my movie um, list with Nika. You could also use it for group tasks, group work. So it saves me time, it increases my productivity, and it just makes it easy for everyone to find the info they need, to collate all their data, to manage their tasks. So make sure to sign up using the link in the description box if you want to try it out and let me know if you have other questions about notion that I didn't get the answer I'll put all my template links in the description box all my widget links and if I find other templates I'll share it as well thanks for watching bye